The natural world is an ever-changing place, but currently our woods are under attack by a small insect called the emerald ash borer. Since it was first discovered in Indiana in 2004, this tiny metallic green insect has killed tens of millions of mature ash trees here in Indiana. The killing wave has moved from north to south and is sweeping through our state parks, nature preserves, picnic areas, and private woodlots. What exactly is an emerald ash borer? How does it kill our trees? Why should we care? And is there a way that we can help preserve this native tree species here in our Hoosier forests? Emerald ash borer is not native to the United States. Again, it was found in Michigan in 2002, and when they traced it back and identified it, it came from China. That's where it occurs there, but it's not a problem in China. It kills ash trees over there, but it's not a problem because they've grown up together and the ash trees can tolerate and manage with emerald ash borer. So, but here in the United States, there's no natural enemies to emerald ash borer. There's a full so food source that the trees don't know how to react to it. So that's why we're getting the killing of it. But the beetle is basically what I call the bark beetle. It's a killer. It's a primary killer of the ash. It came in because there's no predators, no parasites, nothing to control it. It has free food. It can eat and kill what it wants. And it likes to kill green ash first, white ash next, Black ash is also highly susceptible to it, and that's basket ash. That's important to the Native Americans because they make baskets from it. We need to protect that tree. And the other blue ash that we have in Indiana, it will be killed by it, but it tolerates emerald ash borer better than the other trees. And there's one other tree, I don't know how well it'll work. It's called pumpkin ash. We have seen emerald ash borer finally as of March in 2017. It was found in all of the 92 Indiana counties. Emerald ash borer works by having one life cycle going from an adult to an egg. The adults are out at this time of the year here in the spring of May and June into July primarily. They're laying their eggs after mating. The eggs hatch under the bark and mine down underneath into the cambium, the living tissue of the tree, say the blood vessels of the tree. And as they begin to mine within that cambium, that cuts off the blood flow, so to speak, or the flow of the tree and the life of the tree. And gradually over time, they build enough numbers that they kill the tree. But they do that by starting first in the top of the tree in their first year. And that's usually year one, two, or three. And you won't see them because they're all under the bark. You'll only be able to notice it probably in year three when some of the top of the tree doesn't have as much foliage or has some dead branches. But then by year five, Usually you'll know that the tree is dead or almost on its way out. So generally about five years after the tree is first infected, then it dies. And it can be up to seven or eight years. Ash trees make up 15 to 20 percent of the trees in our woods. And within the next 10 years, we will have lost 95 percent of all ash trees in Indiana. Ash is a common shade tree along city streets and in our parks. Its wood is important in the manufacture of furniture flooring, cabinets, hockey sticks, and even baseball bats. An estimated 10 to 20 billion dollars in forest loss will occur in the next 10 years. The emerald ash borer is changing the very makeup of our forests. We're identifying trees in our nature preserves, our state parks, or elsewhere that have good seed sources, they're big trees. We're going in and treating those trees with an insecticide, amamectin benzoate, to help protect it from emerald ash borer when it shows up. The steps that we're taking to counteract the emerald ash borer and the ash borer decimating our ash population, uh, we're starting with injections on live, seem to be growing healthy ash trees across some of our nature preserves, some of our larger uh, trees. Uh, we start the process by going through and mapping all of our trees by GPS, locating them if they're male and female. Uh, taking a diameter at breast height or DBH uh, and then that will help us figure out how much insecticide to inject into the tree and then we drill holes into the tree down towards the base of the tree and the root flares. Um, insert a plug, hammer that in into the cambium layer and then we in inject the in insecticide which will be good for approximately two years and then we'll have to come back and reapply to ensure the trees stay healthy against the emerald ash borer.
So instead of just allowing the emerald ash borer to sweep through and kill off all these trees, we're going to make that attempt to save these trees so we have future seed stock uh, for seed nurseries if possible, because uh, we don't know the long-term effect of the emerald ash borer on this species. So we want to ensure that there's at least a chance that this tree species will still be within our Indiana forest. Indiana Parks Alliance, working with Indiana State Parks and Indiana Nature Preserves to save our ash trees for tomorrow.